Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe, and reliable Ultimate Team coin. And during the team of the season period, u7buy have their biggest discount ever where you guys can save up to 15% off your order by using my code RRB at checkout. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel today. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you a very, very overpowered and insane 400k hybrid for you guys to use in FIFA 21. It is a little bit of a different team, a team that you won't typically see too much, but it's a very fun team, something cool, something different, and still very much overpowered. So, with that being said, guys, if you do enjoy the content on the channel, make sure you do smash a like on the video, subscribe if you are new as well, and all that good stuff. And if you haven't seen the most recent foot championship ch challenge, I have done on the channel where i let my 84 plus times 20 pack pick my foot champions team click the link down below in the description and go check out that video but anyways enough of the chit chat let's waste no more time and let's get straight into it let's go okay guys so as you can see right now on your screens the formation that you guys want to start off with is the 433 standard formation all right this is just to get everyone on full chemistry though and of course at the end of the video i'll show you what you can use in a game all right so with that being said we're just going to get straight into it and dive into this 400k hybrid squad builder so starting off with a bang in the left wing spot someone that doesn't really get used a lot but he, he is a new release team this season card some of that does look very very interesting he's he goes by the name of um davidson or davidson however you do say the name his card looks absolutely fantastic man as you guys can see there he's a four star four star five foot ten very nimble agile got really good ball control dribbling and composure fantastic finishing and shot power 99 shot power by the way guys is, is just a crazy crazy stat to have you really do feel that in game um and just overall he is a very very sweaty card to use so make sure you do go ahead and pick up this guy um um, yeah very very good card and to partner on with him in the attack and the striker spot we do have a rule breakers card and uh he goes by the name of alex tixira it's going to be that rule breakers card all right the e3 rated card very very nice card i've always liked this card man i've always thought that this fifa tixira was relatively i uh, was quite overpowered to be honest with you guys I, I still think he is and i still think he's a fantastic card as you guys can see he does have 95 agility some good dribbling and ball control stats there really really good finishing he's pacey four star skill is four star weak foot again just like the other brazilian we do have in the left wing spot davidson so yeah again another fantastic player there in alex sixero make sure you do go ahead ahead and pick him up and in the right wing spot guys to complete the attacking brazilian trio we do have a player from the premier league he goes by the name of rafinha and a very exciting player in real life someone i do like to watch in real life a very very entertaining player in real life that does play for leeds but um yeah on fifa he gets his job done very very nicely and he does have an 84 rated inform card that i recommend that you guys go ahead and use so yeah make sure you go ahead and pick up this inform rafinha card he does have four star skill moves um yes he's only got three star weak foot but you know it's not really the end of the world pacey winger good agility good dribbling um yeah good good card so go ahead and pick him up man i think he can do you a fantastic job as well from that right hand side but moving on into the midfield in the center in the heart of the midfield he's this player will be playing cam by the way it's a very very good team in the season card someone that is very very effective and um again <laughs> Is he underrated? I'd probably say he's underrated because no one uses him. Maybe no one uses him because of, because of the league that he's from and he's quite hard to link. But I actually think this is a really, really good card, man. He goes by the name of um, Cecinia. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, as you guys can see, this card looks absolutely fantastic. First things first, he does have five-star weak foot and four-star skill moves, which is already a dub. And then, you know, you look at his pace, 97 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. You look at his finishing, 98 shot power, 95 long shots, 93 finishing, 94 attacking positioning fantastic stuff great passing great dribbling ball control balance agility and composure great strength as well i mean this guy literally is just fantastic go ahead and pick him up man i mean what are you waiting for all right guys he does get full chem in this side so again i've given you guys a, a way to fit this cut this type of card in and, and again he's someone a little bit different someone fun but still very much overpowered so with that being said 
to partner up with uh, Cecinia in the midfield. Uh, in the left centre mid uh, spot, we do have Paulinho. It's going to be an informal card. You know, if you do have extra, if you do have like an extra 30k, you could always upgrade to his foot birthday card. This 90, this 90 weight, uh, 90 rated card there. So yeah, you could always do that. But for now, go ahead and use the 85 rate inform inform card. It's a really, really good card, man. Four star, four star. Really good going forward and. This is the kind of centre mid that you're going to want to have next to the, the next CDM that I'm about to um, show you guys because Paulinho is so good going forward. Obviously, you know, he, he's good defensively as we all know already, but he is really, really good going forward. He does have four-star skill moves. He does have four-star weak foot, so he is a threat in the attack, and that's very, very important as our CDM is going to be someone that on the ball isn't that great, but when it just comes to winning back the ball, is very, very good at it. It is indeed Fabinho, and it's going to be the 88 rated inform card. Obviously, you know, Fabinho, he turns like a truck. He's very slow. He's not the typical centre mid that people would go for on FIFA, but his role in this team is to just simply win that ball back. And once you win the ball back with him, just play the simple pass. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to, you know, abuse dribbling with Fabinho. You can't really do skill moves with him because I think he's only got like three star skill moves. Yeah, he's only got three star skill moves. So just literally make the tackle, make the interception, and just pass it off to 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 a next player. So that's that. You just got to know how to use the players at the end of the day. Um, but obviously I know I can understand he's not your typical go-to player, but still, you know, Fabinho when it comes to making those tackles, when it comes to winning the ball back one of the best that is so yeah go ahead and pick him up and again it's something a little bit different and fun to use um but moving on into the defense now we're going to start with the left back spot and again continuing that brazilian tradition to be honest 10 out of the 11 players are brazilian um in the left back spot we do have um henrique um henrique the team this season from the league one i'm pretty sure just play for monaco really really good card guys honestly this left back card is fantastic and to be fair, I actually think he hasn't really been, I haven't come up against him that much since he's been released, which again is, you know, quite strange because he does look like a very, very good card. And I assume that a lot of people did get him during the weekend league. Um, I mean, during the weekend league rewards um, for the league one team of the season. So yeah, again, that's quite interesting there. But he is a very, very good card, man. I mean, he's, he's got all the necessary stats for um, a left back. As you can see, look at the pace, man. 97 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Look at the agility and balance. Look at the defending. I mean, it, it speaks for itself. So we know that he will be able to do a fantastic job. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would have probably used this card already by now. So yeah, go ahead and pick him up. But in the right back spot, we do have um, a decent option, all right? At, at the start of the game, you know, he would have been everyone's go-to option, but maybe not now. But you know, this is a 400k team. You've got to kind of you know choose cheaper players in certain positions so in the right back spot we are going for jesus navas but don't worry again you guys can always upgrade him um his card if you wanted to to his inform if you do have some extra coins but yeah he, he gets his job done he's decent you know he can defend well he can dribble well four star skill moves as well um a decent amount of pace and yeah i think these two fullbacks are very very good and i'm pretty sure this enrique card um no it doesn't i thought he had four star skill moves for a second but he doesn't but yeah two decent fullbacks that should get the job done so make sure you, you do go ahead and pick them up but moving on into the two center back spots now again continuing that uh brazilian theme in the right center back spot we do have none other than the man himself diego carlos uh, all right diego carlos absolutely fantastic gets the job done um yeah i've always been a fan of diego carlos this fifa to be fair even if it, like even um his normal goal card i think was absolutely fantastic especially at the start of the game you know it's very very expensive back then but um yeah make sure you do pick up the champions league 85 rated version all right a very very fantastic card good defensively of course you know he's very strong and he's, he's got a good body type in game as well relatively pacey make sure you apply shadow chem, chem style just to improve that pace a little bit more but yeah man overall man really really good card so make sure you do go ahead and pick him up now to partner up with diego carlos in the center back positions we do have marchao i believe that's how, that's how you pronounce his name I do believe I'm not totally sure, but yeah, it's a really, really good team of the season card. Very pacey, very good defensively. And as you guys can see, he's got 84 sprint speed, 80 acceleration, some fantastic defending stats, 91 strength, 95 aggression, 92 standing tackle, 87 slide tackle. Like it's things that you love to see, it really is. So go ahead and pick this man up. And then in the goalkeeper spot, guys, we do have Marcelo Gro. Um, I'm pretty sure he's from like the Saudi league, but he's a Brazilian goalkeeper that is actually quite decent. So yeah, I just decided to go with him. You can literally go for any 
any um Bra uh, Brazilian goalkeeper. But yeah, I decided to go with a team of the season card. So go ahead and pick him up. But as you guys can see right now on your screens, this is the 400k hybrid squad builder. Make sure you do pick this team up. It's something cool, it's something different, it's something a little bit fun to use. And uh, for full chemistry, all you guys got to do is just apply a manager, which you have to do anyway. So yeah, just get a manager that fits. Just get a Brazilian manager. And yeah, you got 100 chemistry. Now, in terms of the formation in game, you could use you could actually use the 4-4-2. You could play Cecina up front. But um, I'm going to say the 4-2-3-1 again, just because I feel like this is a good neutral um, uh, formation to use. In terms of, you know, I feel like 4-4-2 is a bit more expansive. You, you probably want to use that if you're a little bit more experienced at the game. But the 4-2-3-1 is just a good formation for everyone to use, no matter, you know, what level of skill you are um, on this game. So that's why I usually do go for this formation in game or the, or, or the narrow formation. Um, because I just feel like, yeah, they're, they're the most secure formations. In my opinion, this is a good secure formation. Um, so yeah, go ahead and use the formation, set up like this in game and let me know what you guys think. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. It's been your boy RB Plays. Make sure to click the link down below in the description. Check out the Foot Champs um, videos because yeah, the Foot Champs videos, man, they're, they're much more entertaining than the squad build ones. So I recommend you guys do go ahead and check those out. But yeah, let me know what you think of the team and until next time, peace.